Yeah. Mate, speaking of weapons, uh, your great mate Justin Langer is famously quoted as saying recently as Australian coach, uh, you know, everyone talks about this word sledging, but there's a difference between banter and abuse. Abuse is no good, but there's plenty of room for banter. banter. Um, so many people are keen to know more about the Australian cordon, you know, during your era. Oof. So just with that in mind, I was hoping you could give us an insight into the banter style of each. Like I'll, I'll say a name and maybe you could give a, a, a few words on the style of, of, of each of their banter. So if I sort of said Gilchr- yeah. Gilchrist, just a couple of words. Uh, hyena on the uh, hyena on the plains of Africa. <laughs> he'd just he'd, he'd, chip, he'd chip, chip around the line, you know, to, to get whatever he could, ah. and then he'd back he'd back away and back down. Oh, that's <laughs> I got a couple more. So w- Warren. Yeah. Uh, well, let's just say he was one of the big fish. Um, so I would just say big fish. Yeah, he's, okay. he's a top line predator. He's, he's a pelagic man. He's, he's top of the food chain. This is so vivid. Good. Uh, early days when you were there, AB? Mm. Uh, I, I would say he's more gladiatorial. Like I'm sort of, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, what's the word when, you, when you're thinking about someone like, you know, the gladiator where he's just, he was so, he was such a tiny man. I mean, he was ridiculously small. He was just like a pit bull. There you go. That's probably a better. He's, oh. a, he's a pit bull. Once he got you, he'd never let you go. A couple more. Uh, Tugger? Uh, hmm. Tugger was like a wizard's sleeve. Um, <laughs> he, he just sort of he'd pull a prediction out of the hat like, You'd go to him in the huddle after sort of being one or two down in, a, in the final innings of a test match, and he'd say, boys, uh, just make sure those beers are on ice at seat time because um, we're definitely winning. And we were looking at going, Matt, they're one or two down, and, you know, Hansi Cronje's, like, smashing one, he's 120, and you're going, where's he get that from? Sure enough, the ball before tea, the wizard's sleeve just opens up and out puffs the sort of other eight wickets that you needed to get to that stage. And bingo, off you went. Two more. Uh, junior? Oh, junior, junior was a pretty nice bloke. Like, he'd, he'd say everything that, he'd say everything that uh, uh, was just what everyone else was thinking. Okay. So if he was rubbish, he'd go, mate, yeah, it's rubbish. <laughs> and you think, actually, no. And actually, the funny thing about junior sledge is that and the funny thing is that the person that was receiving Junior's sledge, who would inevitably worship Mark Wall, because there hasn't been a finer cricketer that's maybe graced the planet, let alone Australia, mm. would go, oh, yeah, that's probably a fair point, Mark. Actually, I am rubbish. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and finally, Hayden, Doss. The Doss... Uh, I don't know. Like when I was batting, I reckon I was a lot more aggressive. Like when when Shaw Bakhtar, for example, was running in, yeah. um, I, I'd just I'd think of ways to really piss a fast bowler off, which is not hard, right? The moment you start showing anywhere near your sprigs as you're walking towards them, is pretty much evidence that you're going to get a bouncer. So mm-hmm. I just sort of play that card that. Yeah. You know, someone like Actor, for example, I'd call him B grade Actor for a start, which um, <laughs> which used to get under his skin a bit. I'm sure. Um, but I'd also like to sort of leverage as well, like play the political role. Like when we were playing in Sharjah and it was 58 degrees it's oh, out yeah. in the middle. Yeah. And Actor, when we walked out, said, I'm going to kill you today in a whole lot more colourful language. And I said, mate, that's terrific. You know, I'm looking forward to that challenge in a lot more <laughs> colourful language. So I said, but here's the thing, Jumbo. I said, you got you got 18 balls to do it. You've got three overs because you're going to turn into a marshmallow that's been left on the flame too long and it's going to be dripping down it. And I'm going to be the one at the other end of those 18 balls that's going to be mopping it up. <laughs> so, of course... <laughs> just two blokes having yeah. a chat. Hey, this, this is a half an hour story, right? But I'm just going to get to the nutshell. So, so I had Venkat, you know, the, 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 yeah, yeah. the Austin from from Chennai mm. um, at the other end. So I've now got a point of leverage. So <laughs> I go, right, how can I get Shoah looking like an absolute goose and how can I tell Bankat about this? Now, India and Pakistan, there's no loss 
of love there mm. for a start. So I thought that's my point. So as Shaab's running into bowl and he's cursing every profanity under the sun uh, at me, I get to his bowling mark as I'm counting down his balls from one to 18. So it's like <laughs> this is ball number nine, for example. Yeah. He gets to his delivery stride and I pull out. I count the ball. He runs at me going, what the problem is? And I said, i got a problem, Venkat. I storm up to Venkat and said, look, Man, I give everything on the game, right? I, I, I deserve everything I get. But within the protocols and etiquette of the game, surely you can't be running in and abusing someone. And so Venkat goes, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and uh, he, he tunes him all the way back to his bowling mark, which is a mile, like yeah. it's right back at the sight screen. Yeah, yeah. And I think the only way that Shoaib is going to get me out here is bold. Because Venkat's definitely not going to give me LB. And, <laughs> and uh, it's not going to get caught beyond that because this thing was an absolute bounce and burner. It wasn't bouncing more than a centimetre. So all I had to do was just stand the ground. And that was it. He got through his 18 overs. He collapsed, seriously collapsed at the end of it. And, of course, I take the opportunity to get my gloves, which I didn't need, and just go up to, um, go up to show up and said, you want to go off, don't you? And he's, and he says, no, I said, mate, come on. There's no heroes in test cricket. David Boone once said that to me. It's hot, and I know you're busted. Just go off. I won't. I promise you I won't think any worse of it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's called, he's called our mate on, and he's gone off, and he didn't participate in the rest of the test match. He was heat struck. Uh... So that's the sort of... Mine was sort of like more of a not so much words, but just, I don't know, I just used to love that confrontation anyway. I think all of the Australian Green team did, frankly. Yeah.